today i'm gonna show you how to bake a delicious pizza using my sourdough discard from my whole wheat starter this is a fantastic way to utilize that extra starter while making something super tasty first let's start by adding my sourdough discard into this measuring cup filled with water now I'm going to drizzle in some olive oil and follow it up with a bit of honey. While I mix these together, let's chat about why I chose honey. Honey is a natural sweetener that brings moisture and depth of flavor unlike processed sugars that can leave your bakers dry. And olive oil, it's packed with healthy fats compared to vegetable oils which can often be highly processed. Trust me, it makes a difference. Now, in another bowl, let's mix our flour and some salt. Next, I'm going to be adding some room temperature unsalted butter. You want to break this up into small pieces. This is super important because it helps create a tender texture in our crust. We want that perfect bite. Now let's make a well in the middle of the flour so that we can add our liquid. Here I'm using my index finger to mix and hydrate the flour. This step is key to ensuring everything comes together smoothly. Once most of the dough is combined, just add some extra water to hydrate any remaining dry bits of flour. Now continue to knead until we have a smooth ball of dough. After kneading, I'm lightly greasing my bowl and placing the dough inside. I'll cover it and let it ferment for 2-4 to four hours. Alternatively, you can pop it in a grease container with a lid and store it in the fridge overnight for even more flavor. While the dough is proofing, let's prepare our baking sheet. Here I'm using a half size baking sheet and generously applying olive oil to it. Make sure to cover the sides and edges as well. This olive oil is going to give us that crispy crust we all love. Now I'm going to sprinkle some semolina flour. This stuff is a game changer. It adds a wonderful texture and prevents sticking while baking. Set the baking sheet aside and let's get ready to roll out our dough. Lightly flour your working surface, rolling pin and your hands. Once your dough is double in size, it's ready. Before rolling, spread it out by hand to help shape it into a rectangle. Once I've got my shape, I'll roll it out, ensuring it's well floured to prevent sticking. Aim for it to be slightly bigger than the baking sheet because the dough will contract as it bakes. Once rolled out, fold in half, then in quarter before transferring it to your baking sheet and adjust as needed. It's perfectly fine if it hangs over the edges. Open it out on your baking sheet. Once done, let it sit and relax for 15 minutes while you prepare the toppings. Alright, so now it's time to build our pizza. Now you can get creative with your toppings, but I'm keeping it simple today with a tomato based sauce, shredded mozzarella and pepperoni, my favorite. With the sauce, I like to keep a thin layer so that the pizza doesn't get too wet. Next, I'm adding a layer of cheese, followed by a generous blanket of pepperoni. I'm not leaving any space on this pie because, let's be honest, who doesn't love pepperoni? While I'm assembling, I'm going to preheat my oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that our pizza is ready, let's bake it. We'll pop it in the oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 to 35 minutes, making sure to rotate it halfway through. But don't forget to set your rack in the middle of the oven. Alright, so it's been about 15 minutes, let's check on our pizza. Look at that beautiful golden brown color starting to develop. You can see the olive oil bubbling up as well. Rotate and let it continue to bake for another 10 to 12 minutes before you check it again. Look at that gorgeous pizza. Golden, crispy and loaded with toppings. Look at that color. You hear that? Golden brown, crispy on the edges. That's what we want. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna let this sit, cool long, rest, relax for about 15, 20 minutes before we slice. All right, so our pizza has cooled. So let me just pull this to me so I can just show you all the corners so you all can see just how crispy it is. So look at that. See that golden brown color? That's what we're looking for, people. Slice now. Okay. Right, so slice 
square here to show you. Perfect sourdough pizza made with love. If you enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what toppings you're going to try.